What's good sports gamers and welcome to part 6 of our series where I'll now show you the sleepers of the position responsible for covering the Julio, Dez, Odell Beckhams of the world. And that's the cornerbacks. And if you liked our series so far or are a fan of our work, leave a like down below to help us out. Alright, let's do this. The number 10 sleeper is Cody Riggs. Riggs has good speed and acceleration and is one of the better cover guys on the list with 81 man and 79 zone coverage. The thing is he won't win any strongest man competitions with his 49 press. So you best want to play him off coverage until you get that up. He also has the tackle rating of a punter and 82 jump. But besides the small details, at 72 overall, he's a better defender than he has a right to be. Number 9 on the list is James Bradbury. He has 91 speed and 92 acceleration and has the bonus of being able to hit stick defenders with a 76 hit power. Which is equivalent to like a 95 for a safety. He's an average man defender to start and has decent zone coverage rating of 81 to build up. Number 8 on the list is PJ Williams. Williams has 90 speed, 91 jump, and one of the highest acceleration ratings in the game at a 95. Has decent zone and man coverage ratings of 78 and 82 respectively, and Williams also has big hitter ability with 74 hit power. Number 7 is Xavier Howard. Howard has 81 man, 79 zone coverage, and 82 press, which are all great starting points for the 23 year old. Along with 91 speed and 71 catch makes Howard a very well-rounded young cornerback to have. Number 6 on the list is Eric Rowe. Rowe shows off his safety experience with 71 tackle, accompanied by 90 speed, acceleration, and agility ratings. Along with a slightly above average man rating of 78 and 82 press, if you need a man corner you can't go wrong with Rowe. Fifth is Darkies Denard. At 75 overall, Denard is a great choice with 92 press and 82 man coverage rating to play bump and run. He's a slow development trait, so that bumped him down the list some, but having those numbers with 72 catch makes him a perfect young starting corner day one. Because of 72 zone, that's pretty much the only thing he can do at a high level to start. The number four sleeper is Lamarcus Joyner. Joyner is another corner safety hybrid, and he has the best of both worlds in the way. 71 catch, 76 tackle, and 80 hit power on one hand, and 80 man, 79 zone, and 77 press on the other. So aside from being a tick slower than your average corner, Jordan has no other glaring weaknesses. The number three sleeper is Quentin Rollins. Rollins won't be covering the Deshaun Jacksons of the world anytime soon, but with 83 man and 82 press, along with 77 catching, makes Rollins, who's 73 overall, a very nice low rated option. Number two on the list is Jimmy Ward. Ward, the last of our hybrid defenders, has 77 hit power, 82 man, and 83 press. His zone and play rec ratings are also above average for a cornerback. So besides having the potential as a man-to-man -man bump and run corner, he can develop into the jack-of-all-trades one as well. And Sports Gamers Online, number one sleeper cornerback is Demarius Randall. Randall is a quick development trait and is only the second guy on the list to have 90-plus in speed, acceleration, and agility. To go along with his 73 catch, 72 play rec, 80 man, and 83 press, need I say more? So it's without question why he's the top Sports Gamers Online top 10 sleeper cornerback list. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have a corner in mind that you thought deserved to make the list, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Madden 17 content. And the next vid in our sleeper series is top 10 sleeper tight ends. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all. What's good sports gamers and welcome to part 4 of our sleeper series and today we'll go over the last line of defense, the safeties. Let's get to it. The number 10 sleeper safety is Desmond Southworth. He was recently released so he's out there y'all. Being a former cornerback, Southworth is among the faster safeties in Madden and being 6'2 with 97 jump gives you a nice deep pass breakup defender. Also his versatility and coverage with 79 man and 75 zone gives you a nice low rated option that will perform above his rating. Number 9 is Kamal Ishmael. Ishmael isn't a top-notch athlete, so his value is in other places. He has 71 catch, 79 hit power, and 66 block shit. So he won't hurt you when he's on the field and is young enough to still build up. 8th is Shamarco Thomas. Now Thomas is a faster version of Ishmael who can't catch. So you're going to make up a lot of ground user controlling him, but once you get there, don't expect him to do anything with it, at least at first. 
Seventh is Duke Williams. Williams also has stone hands, but is average to above average in every other category important to a safety. Sixth is Landon Collins. Collins is best used as an in-the-box safety looking at his numbers. Bad agility, 85 tackle, 90 hit power, 74 block shot, and he can't cover. I mean, you can use him deep, but he's Cam Chancellor in training. Fifth is Miles Killebrew.